Hello, welcome to this course on pre-processing data for machine learning. My name is Sarah Guido, and I'll be helping you learn the skills necessary for preparing data for modeling. Let's jump right in. Data pre-processing comes after you've cleaned up your data and after you've done some exploratory analysis to understand your data set. Once you understand your data set, you'll probably have some idea about how you want to model your data. Machine learning models in Python require numerical input. So if your data set has categorical variables, you'll need to transform them. Think of data preprocessing as a prerequisite for modeling. I'm going to walk through some basics in pandas. Most of this should be review. If it isn't, go check out other courses related to pandas. We're going to be working with some pretty straightforward files in this course. The important line here is the hiking.head line. The first thing you're going to want to do with any data set is look at it. It's useful to be able to generate a list of the features present in your data set. You can easily see the columns in a data set with the columns attribute, and you can see their data type with the dtype attribute. Finally, you can quickly generate some basic stats about a data frame, like the mean, standard deviation, and quartiles using the describe method. One of the first steps you can take to pre-process your data is to remove missing data. There's a lot of ways to deal with missing data, but here we're only going to cover ways to remove either columns or rows with missing data. If you wanted to drop all rows from a data frame that contain missing values, you can do that with drop NA. You can drop specific rows by passing index labels to the drop function, which defaults to dropping rows. Usually you want to focus on dropping a particular column, especially if all or most of its values are missing. You can use the drop method as well, though the parameters are different. The first parameter is the column name, in this case, A. We have to specify axis equals 1 in order to designate that we want to drop a column. What if we want to drop rows where data is missing in a particular column? We can do this with the help of Boolean indexing, which is a way to filter a data frame based on certain values. Instead of indexing a data frame using column or row names, you can set a condition to filter your data frame by to return a specific set of data. For example, if we wanted only rows in this data frame where column B is equal to 7, we can filter it by selecting where column B is equal to 7. First, let's take a look at how many null values we have in column B, using isNull to get null values and then using sum to output a count. So we have two missing values. To filter those out, we can simply use the notNull method on column B as a Boolean index. This will result in a data frame where all rows have a non-null value for column B. Now it's your turn to get rid of missing data. Give it a try. 